Hello everybody and welcome to another general vlog video. Today is another beautiful day and today we've got the doors open in the shed to house and we are working on a wall. If you can see there's insulation missing and I had to put up a backer board right here the 2x4 in order to put my wall board on. We're still building 2x2 two two walls and the reason being is because I have no inches to spare. My countertop goes from there to there with exactly 30 and a half inches for the stove, which standard stove is 30 inches. I'm allowing myself a half inch, quarter inch on each side. I can't fudge with any of that. My shower and everything has to go into there. And it's just the way that it all has to go together. So I'm having to be very precise on everything that I do. So right now I'm trying to get the layout on the floor. Once I get the layout on the floor and get all my measurements perfect, and I get that fastened to the floor, then we're going to start on trying to fasten it to the ceiling at the same depth and height and width and everything. So I guess there's really nothing uh, for me to show you right this second. So we can see down there on the floor what I'm working on. So let me get busy on that and see what I can come up with. Okay, so there it is. It's all solid screwed to the floor. And yes, I got my flip-flops on today. But you can see everything's in there solid. This is on there solid. So now I just repeat this whole process on the ceiling. I still have a board to go up here. I can add it at any time. But I do see a staple sticking out up here. So anyways, that is what I'm going to do is just repeat this whole process up on the top. You guys can't see my head. So that's what I'm doing and then once I get the top done, I'll see how many more boards I got. I don't want to go to the hardware store right now because of everything that's going on. So I'm just trying to use the lumber that I've got. I've got my two boards for up there and I've got three boards for up here and I've got a stack outside. So I think we can get a little ways. We can at least get the top done and maybe one or two boards here in this jog out. And the only reason I did that is because I could afford to lose the room in the kitchen. I needed a wider door. I need a two, two foot door. And when you're sitting on the commode, you needed leg room, knee room. So that's why I did that little jog out. So you'll see the finished product when it's all done, and it'll make sense then. So let me see what I can do about the top of this and getting on with that. All right, so there's the basis of my wall. I went ahead and up here, I added braces to be able to screw to, and they're screwed from the ends. Um, actually, I forgot this end. Uh, we got a corner here to be able to nail to, an inside corner to be able to nail to. This is a full two by four. This one in here, but it's turned sideways. This one's a full two by four. It's turned sideways. Everything seemed to be measuring right. Everything seems to be perfectly level. Um, I've got to drill a hole through here to bring my wire down through. Uh, and of course, as you can see, I definitely need more braces. Um, I don't see my tape measure laying here. I was going to see. I know I need at least two more in this one and two to three in that one. I have one left. Those over there go for up here. And they're kind of already pre-cut a different size. So I can't use those. But I think I have some, some boards at the house that uh, I may be able to rip down and finish that wall up maybe tomorrow or the next day. But that's the basis of it. I mean, it's right here will be the breakfast nook. It will come out just wide enough have two bar stools here and one bar stool at the end because that's going to be open now. I was going to put a wall there, but it's more important to me to have a, a place for another person to sit 
versus a wall because I think it would look better. So we got all that done. Uh, I think before I leave, I'll go ahead and drop my wiring through there, figure out how many shallow plugs I need. Uh, I'm working myself out of material here is what I'm doing. So I think I'm going to do some of that and maybe put that piece of insulation back in and just kind of all together kind of figure out what all I need and I don't know, let's get something done. So I put my insulation back in and I also put a board up here that'll be a nail board for my ceiling to go in. And I think I'm getting ready to do the same here and try to get all that taken care of. So let's go ahead and get a board cut for that. Okay. Okay, and just like that, I have a nail place. So my ceiling can nail all the way around. I still got to put this backboard on. I still got to put these side pieces up. Then I have to figure out in there for my boards to nail to. But I'm pretty much out of material. Uh, I'm going to check and see what I got at home. I think I have the ones that I made the dead man T-post out of. I think they're still long enough to be able to rip in half and add, like I said, at least two more on this one. And I have my thing now. So if I go 16, 14 and a half, yeah, I just need to add two more into there. And let's see here. We're going to have one there and then from there to there. Yeah, I just need to add two more per wall. So that's two two by fours. Cut in half, that makes four. That'll be a total of that. Uh, I have two two by fours over here, but those are for my back wall up top, and that's pretty important. So I think I'll just see what I've got over there and maybe bring it over here tomorrow and rip them up. And excuse me, I gotta get something to drink. It is hot in here. And of course, I'm drinking pop, and that doesn't help. Well, it doesn't help anything, but it sure doesn't help to cool you off. So that's, that's basically where I'm at. I, I'm happy with all my measurements now. Now I still have a wall to build right here on this side of the window. If you guys can see, I've heard, well, that ain't the base plate that'll go there, but that was just kind of a temporary one a long time ago. But it goes about there. It'll go to the side of this with a 7 16th inch setback. And then I've got to figure out how to do it up here and then you know, put a couple braces up here side to side <clears throat> to be able to run all that. So it's getting there. Slowly but surely, it is getting there. All right. And just like that, I went ahead and started on this wall. As you guys can see, I've got it. And basically what I was doing, I don't see my, oh, here it is. I got to make it so when I put my wood on, I come flush with this. So I got all that all the way down. Perfect. Everything's level there. Let me make positive shore. Perfectly level. Everything's level out here. Perfect. Perfect. So that being said, there's that wall there up to there. I had to put in a couple braces to hold it. I still have to put a two by four up here on top of this, like I did over there for me to nail the ceiling to. But that's what it is. Okay, now I got those plates in there. Just used two scrap pieces of board, screwed them there. So now when you put this thing up, you know, you'll have the bottom of the studs and the bottom of this. Same way on this side, you have the bottom of this and then that lips over on this side too. So now, uh, the only thing that I have to do is put one here to come in front of this. And I'm not worried about that right now. I, I can get that when I get an extra piece of scrap two by four or, you know, whatever I may, may end up finding. So, with all that being said, you know what? 
Let me see, I might have a scrap out there big enough. All right, and I did. I had a piece of one by. Whoops, you guys are on the lifeline over here. Let me unplug you. I had enough. It was about a quarter inch short, but it doesn't matter. I mean, all I'm doing is putting the ceiling up against it and screwing away, getting it all done. So that being said, whew, I'm wore out today. So let's get you guys away from all the lights. So we got the basis of our walls up now. Now I know when I go home, I need three two by fours. It's cut in half. That makes six one bys or two by twos, I guess. It, tr the true size of it's one and a half by one and a half. Uh, that being said, I think I have that at home. Plus a couple scrap piece well plus three scrap pieces that are i think four foot long that i can use down at the bottom to help nail in so i think i'm pretty much done with the exceptions of putting my wall studs in and so hopefully tomorrow we can get the wall studs in we can get the rest of the ceiling dropped inch and a half we can get that back part dropped an inch and a half uh, bathroom's already done except for the back part. So I think by tomorrow, the main construction, I see I got stuff all over me, man glitter. I think by tomorrow we'll have the main construction done and then I'll go ahead and start insulating and I'll run myself out of insulation. I've already run myself out of plumbing. I've already run myself out of two by fours. Finish that up tomorrow, hopefully if I can find enough left. And I'll run myself out of insulation downstairs. I still got enough for upstairs, not ready for that yet. And then I'll go ahead and run myself out of electrical and get the electric done. So, so far so good. Anyways, give this video a thumbs up. Please comment down below. And if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. And once you do, smash that bell notification and go all the way up to the top and click all so you'll be notified on every single video that we post. Share us on your social media pages. And speaking of which, social media, follow us on Facebook under General Vlog Video. All of that being said, hope you guys have a great day and even better tomorrow and an awesome night. And remember, I may have most of my framing done, but I'm still my own camera guy. So I got to get up close and personal, poke you guys in the ear and turn this thing off. And we'll see you on the next video. Hope you have a super great night.